Hello, welcome back. So this episode, we are going to be making chicken in wine. Yes, you heard me right. Indian style chicken roast cooked in wine. How would that sound? Well, for that, let me introduce you to wine itself. So I'm going to be using about, um, this is half cup of um, Merlot that I'm using here. It has a nice um, kick to it, the spices, the cinnamon and things like that, cloves and stuff. So I'm going to be using Merlot. And then for this recipe, I'm going to be using two leg quarters cut into three pieces. So first we need to marinate this with turmeric powder, garam masala, red chili powder, salt to taste, and a little bit of black pepper. And for the roast itself, we're going to be using two medium-sized red onion, thinly sliced, um, half of a tomato, ginger, garlic, curry leaves, of course. What kind of curry without curry leaves, right? And green chilies. And I'm going to be cooking this in vegetable oil. I'm not using the coconut oil for this particular recipe. But anyway, you could try it with coconut um, oil, but I would I feel that the flavors don't merge in well. So let's get the marinating going. And then we'll get the... So this is my chicken, well coated. No, it's not coated. It's going to be coated. Okay, so I'm going to be using... This is two heaps spoon of garam masala, my chicken garam masala, and a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. We're going to need a little bit of the red chili powder for the roast. So I'm going to be using two spoonful of that. And salt to taste. It'd be best if you can keep this in the fridge for maybe 30 to 45 minutes. Um, if you marinate overnight also, it's best. But since I don't have that much time, this would do. I'm going to marinate it. And in the meantime, I'm going to be sauteing my um, onions, green chili, green ginger and garlic. By that time, this guy will be ready. So we're going to be pan frying this. not not deep fry, shallow fry our chicken and then into that same pan we're going to saute our roast okay so let me marinate this and come back there you go i marinated my chicken and it's been 30 minutes so let's start cooking process and we'll take it one at a time okay come on over now like i mentioned this is going to be shallow fry so let's start our cooking process. This is, I'm using a non-stick skillet. In goes my vegetable oil. Okay. So that's the same oil that I'm going to be using to saute my vegetables as well. So just gonna coat the bottom of this pan. Let's place our chicken one at a time. Let's cover this and cook for three to five minutes on each side. Check occasionally, okay? You don't want it to stick to the bottom. I'm just cooking three to five minutes on each side so that once my uh, vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna put it back in there and it's gonna cook even longer. So I don't wanna overcook the chicken. That's why I said three to five minutes depending on how big your chicken is. This is with bone, so it will take about three to five minutes on each side. Perfect. So our chicken is halfway cooked, not completely cooked. I just can take it off the oil, rest it on a platter. Now we need that extra oil that is in there to saute our vegetables. Now that the oil is infused with that flavor of all spices, 
let's add in our two medium onions. Next goes in our real green chilies. Now this is regular green chilies. It's not Thai or um, any special for that matter. And goes in five garlic cloves, which is finely chopped. And one tablespoon of ginger. Adding in a bit, little bit of the curry leaves. Now let's give it a good mix. Making sure that our heat is on somewhat medium high. I wouldn't add salt at this state uh, right now because already there's uh, salt marinated in that chicken so this oil is already infused with all that flavor we're just going to be sauteing all this and then once we this is well sauteed well when you add the tomato is when you're going to add the uh, salt our onion ginger garlic green chilies and curry leaf are well sauteed you could check your salt at this um, stage and see if you need more. Mine is perfect. I'm not going to add anything else. Now goes in my half of it uh, thinly sliced tomato. You could also use a chicken broth if you wish to. It's all good. And one spoonful of red chili powder. We are going to lay our chicken that we shallow fry. Like I mentioned, this is two leg quarters which I've cut up. So each leg quarter I have cut up into three equal size. Let's give it a mix. Cover that chicken with that gravy. This is rich in flavor. This is a perfect recipe for a holiday. Just lower the heat to very, very low and let them merge together. Let's cover and cook for another five to seven minutes. Okay, it's been three to four minutes. I'm gonna open up and check. Oh wow. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. When you're stirring you can feel that softness. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do now is Pour in this half glass of um, wine, half cup of wine. Let's turn up our heat. And let this chicken cook in this red wine. Okay. I don't want to disturb it. Let, let that sit. Let that simmer in that red wine. And then we'll check back, cover and check back. Let me check back in three to four minutes. It's been three minutes. Let's okay. see. Wow. On high flame. 
We're just gonna dry roast this chicken. On high flame, we're gonna let this chicken gravy thicken up. There we go, it's almost done. This would be a great complement with rice, chapati, or even porata, or even batuta. Our chicken gravy is nice and thick. That wine absorbed all that, or the chicken just absorbed all that wine and the spices. And if you notice, I only added a little bit of the garam masala um, because wine already has a little bit of um, kick to it, meaning the cinnamon flavor, the cloves flavor, that kind of stuff. So I didn't want to empower my chicken with all that flavor. So I just minimized my marination when I was marinating the chicken, the garam masala with a uh, small spoonful. Um, I think I said two, right? Were you chicken out? Okay, so so there you guys. I'm gonna turn off my uh, stove, give it a last final mix. Look at that. Don't worry, the alcohol is all evaporated. It's just that flavors of that wine and the spices all in. Now let's plate this. This is a great complement with. Chapati, puri, batura, parata, or even fried rice. Um, if you, this is like for I don't make this every often. I do this for special occasions such as you know holidays, Christmas, whatever. So try this recipe out. Let me know how it is, how it comes out for you. For this uh, recipe, I did not use coriander of any sort. Um, I'm not going to be using coriander powder or cilantro. Uh, it's just that I feel those two doesn't mix well. The wine and the coriander powder or the mint um, uh, cilantro doesn't mix well with this wine recipe. So I just left that out. But rest is all good to go. Let's plate this and see how it looks like. There you have it. Our special chicken in red wine is ready. Now this, you should give it a try. You really should. I mean, this is an Indian spicy chicken roast cooked in that red wine. Absorb all that flavor into the chicken. It's nice and soft and chewy. Oh. Okay. Anyway, like I mentioned, I'm having this. I'm serving this with puri. Um, you could serve this with burrata, bread, fried rice, uh, chapati. Anything, anything that you want. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on Curry TV. Thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you next time.